From the towering slopes of Mount Olympus, they looked down. They shaped a world. Our world. Zeus, Poseidon, Athena, Greek gods and great influencers. Philosophy, democracy, geography, the Western world, the creation of civilization. Athens, Constantinople, before, during and after the Romans, this place, these people, Greece. Two and a half thousand years in the making, the Acropolis Rally of Gods is here. Gods like Colin McRae, five times he conquered these achingly tough rock-strewn roads. Michelle, tell us a little bit about the strains of the Acropolis. It's a very hard, a very difficult rally. Yes, it's very tough and, uh, and for the car and for the driver. Walter Roll, Carlos Sainz, Sebastian Loeb, Titans one and all, who rank an Acropolis win amongst the highlights of their career. For this water, I'm waiting for 100 kilometers. Here, in the birthplace of philosophy, victory comes by going slowly, quickly. Victory comes from knowledge. For Plato, knowledge creates happiness. For Aristotle, excellence is a habit, not an act. Come Sunday, excellence and happiness will combine on the podium's top step. We are here. It's time. battle to establish this year's Acropolis Rally God commenced in the heart of one of the world's great cities. Where once magnificent horse-drawn carriages would race around the hippodromes of ancient Athens, this time we had world rally cars. Heading into the classic Acropolis stages of day two, five drivers were realistically looking to battle it out for the win. The first to fall by the wayside was championship contender Elfin Evans. His Toyota Yaris WRC crippled by gearbox issues. Soon after, fellow title contender and perhaps favourite for the win here, Thierry Neuville suffered with power steering issues that dropped him way back down the standings. And that left only three rally warriors fighting it out for the win. At the end of a hard, abrasive, rock-strewn car-breaking day, Robin Perra Tanak and Ogier were remarkably separated by less than four seconds. set to be the longest of the rally and a tight battle was anticipated by the watching masses. But what they witnessed over 134 kilometers of Greece's most challenging stages was something of a miracle. The 
young pretender, Robin Ferrer, blew the opposition away in one of the most impressive displays of controlled, aggressive driving the sport has seen in recent years. Tanak knew he'd seen something special. No, but you, you're always looking for the win, you're a winner. Yeah, but to Rovan Pera, we, we definitely have no match, you know, so it's, it's very easy. Ogier, on the other hand, perhaps a more realistic opinion of the Boy Wonders performance. The speed has been really strong, but I also know that this kind of speed not always win, you know. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's like uh, this kind of rally win speed, but not necessarily championship win speed. The pace that we've seen from you this weekend, you know, it's been absolutely dominant, but it's looked comfortable out there. You don't really seem to have been hitting the limit too often. No, I would say like the first pass condition, uh, the driving was really enjoyable. Uh, I didn't need to push too much. I could just enjoy the driving quite, quite well. The final day dawned to dramatic skies as the waiting world watched on in full anticipation of young Robin Perra's elevation to rally gods. But could it be possible that this glorious crowning of rallying's latest superstar fin could actually end up becoming a great tragedy? To the weather gods on the stages, high up in the mountains, clearly weren't happy and the conditions held the threat of major jeopardy. But we should never have doubted the prodigious talents of rallying's young pretender. Oven Pera coped imperiously with all that the Acropolis stages and his challengers could throw his way. Today, we acclaim our latest rally god. Stand up, Kali Rovampera, a young man with the potential to go on to become one of the sport's great rallying superstars. And for the second time on the top step of the podium, 